going on? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. Did I just do a John Cena? You can't, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just gonna like talk a little bit about my PS4 digital library. The Xbox One I usually use for my multiplayer, right? Because a lot of my friends are obviously on Xbox One and this is mostly for single player. PS Pro installed a nice two gigabyte hard drive in this bitch. So we are good to go. Okay, let's talk Mass Effect. I think the second one's the best one. Uh, in terms of this one, I think the story is okay, it's decent, but the animations of this bitch, people, you've probably seen it everywhere online. Can you hear the police? There's some crazy shit going on. Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's, it's an interesting story, uh, but it doesn't match up to Mass Effect 2 in any way. I don't care about the characters as much. But this is a weird one, because graphically it looks beautiful, but at the same time it looks horrible with the animations and the facial shit. God damn, you've probably already seen all this, all these complaints online. It does really take you away from the experience because you're watching it and you're getting into it and then you're looking at their, their faces and you're thinking, how could they have fucked up like this? WWE, I love this shit. This is the best game in the franchise so far in terms of next gen. Looking good, I'd love to see what they do this year. Big fan. Bioshock, love these games. Love both of these games on the Xbox 360. Went for the remaster. Uh, the remaster on Bioshock is more noticeable than the third one, but they're all very, very good games. Hitman, I wanted to wait till all of them came out before I started playing, and I, start, I played one or two missions. I fucking love it. It is amazing in this bitch. Love this game, worth the pickup, worth the full price in my opinion. You got Firewatch, another great game. I'm balls deep into that bitch, and I'm telling you guys, this game is A1. A1. It's dripping atmosphere, and obviously the PS Pro has definitely helped it with its, with its, with its upgrading. No Man's Sky, I have not touched this game, I have not even switched this bitch on. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I paid £55 for this bitch, expecting the second coming of Christ. And what I got was the devil in this bitch. You know this has to be the biggest letdown of a game ever in terms of what it told us it could do and what it actually does as a game. So yeah, big disappointment. I'm sure I'll play it at some point, but I've got too many games I need to get through. Last of Us, uh, do I even need to say? One of the best games ever. Yeah, it looks even more gorgeous uh, in uh, on the PlayStation Pro, for sure. This is a fantastic remaster. Ratchet and Clank, another great game. How can you have a Sony PlayStation without having Ratchet and Clank in this speech? It's an A1 game. Oh yeah, I can't wait till Crash Bandicoot comes. Uncharted Collection, nothing to say. If you don't have this on the PS4, I really don't know what's wrong with you guys. Seriously, A1, that along with Uncharted 4, A1 games. Graphically, some of the most beautiful games you'll, you'll ever play. That's it, people. Oh, that's not it. Shit. There's one thing we missed out in this. Shit. Oh, shit. Look at this shit right here. I got my VR folder. Resident Evil, I've already done a review. Tethered, I haven't played. Trackmania, I haven't played. Robinson, it's a good showcase for VR, but the game really doesn't do much for me. 2K VR is fun in spurts. Call of Duty, just a, a, a supplemental thing really for VR. Super Stardust is actually pretty decent in VR. I enjoyed it. But my most favorite game on VR right now is Headmaster in this bitch. Yeah? God damn. This game is just pure fun, people. Pure fun. And it's dirt cheap. So pick that bitch up just on a pure fun level. I played on that shit solidly for four hours. I love that game. Rush of Blood, another good game. Arkham VR is another good game. Uh, I played it without the move controllers. Now I have the move controllers, so I'll give it a go because I heard it's a better experience. I love Drive Club VR. I think it's amazing. PlayStation Worlds, great games in that bitch. Ocean Reef, amazing. And also uh, The Heist, one of the best VR games there is. And I was a little worried because it got a bit quiet on the VR front, but there are some good... There's a Dirt... Is it a Dirt Rally game or something coming on VR if it's not out already? I've heard really good things about the VR on that bitch. I'm definitely going to pick that up. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's my uh, that's my games collection on my PS4. Definitely add me, uh, Catalyst six six six, you know. And and that's where we are, people. Thought I'd just give you a quick rundown, do my little mini reviews on some of these games I have, if, in case some of you guys were on the fence or not. Hit the like button if you haven't already, and definitely subscribe if you haven't. God damn, what are you waiting for? Shit, thirteen hundred strong. Let's keep going in this bitch. All right, guys, take care. Rastag.